Hi everyone, this is Jessica Alba. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am gonna show you how to create the ultimate grazing boards for the fam. The kitchen is my favorite spot in the house because this is the heart of the home. And the heart of the home for my family is really connected to their bellies. What I love about these boards is they can stay out all day and the kids, fam, they can snack all day long. So this is my go-to every weekend to support local farmers, eat seasonally, and healthy. All right, so let's get started. So this is my easy five ingredient hummus that everybody loves in the fam. Drained chickpeas. One tablespoon of tahini. You can put two. Depending on how garlicky your fam likes it, you can use one clove of garlic or three. Whatever floats your boat. This is very satisfying. Yes, look at that. I like to slice along the sides of the core. A chef taught me that trick. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can cut out the core completely to avoid the seeds. So what's great about olive oil is that you usually can find it at a farmer's market and there's lots of amazing artisanal olive oils out there. This is a female founded, female run brand that I love in Northern California. You can use any kind of blender, an immersion blender, a food processor, or really any kind of stand up blender would work as well. Or you can use your arm strength and you can mash it. I'm gonna add some salt. The salt is really up to you, some people like more salt, less salt. I love a flaky salt moment. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil because that's just what I like. These are just really cute wooden bowls. Top it with a little olive oil. Hummus, done. Set that aside. Next up, veggies. I'm just going to take the stem off of the cauliflower. If you have a composter, this is great for composting. I know people even use the stems to make like a veggie soup. You could also puree the stem. And last but certainly not least, Romanesco is like a combination of a broccoli and a cauliflower and I just love this veggie. I just feel like at like French restaurants or like fancy pants restaurants, they always serve this. What's interesting is it's an edible flower bud. It looks like the eyeballs of a gecko or like one of those lizards. A tip is you can cut and trim your veggies and then wash and rinse them after. I'm using hot water because it begins the process of slightly cooking them. Fill a bowl with hot water. You can boil the water in kettle. I have an instant hot. I picked this up from one of my favorite local restaurants and I just thought what a good idea because it just makes the veggies a little bit more palatable so they're not just like totally raw, which can be a little tough on the tummy sometimes. So I'm pouring a generous amount of olive oil, generous amount of salt, and basically just sticking my veggies in there. So The Honest Company is all about doing what's right for people and for the planet. Did you know that over 600 million bottles of cleaners may end up in a landfill every year? I'm like, no thank you. How about we create a solution where you could literally mail these refills? They're so cute. You save so much on your carbon footprint, literally from just not shipping around a ton of water. So you get your awesome refills, pop them in your bottle. And what's great about this bottle is it's so chic. It'll last refill after refill after refill after refill. Why put more plastic bottles in the landfill if you don't need to? So there's no more excuses, guys. No more throwing away bottles. Say goodbye to your single-use cleaning bottles. Boom. Honest got you covered for most of your cleaning needs. Okay, so now we're gonna chop up our endive, our celery, and apples. I love endive because it's just cut off the end. Super simple. The celery, same, chop off the end. So you can use a peeler to take the strings off of the back of the celery. It's sort of like taking the hair out of the vacuum. I know, it's kind of gross. So I'm just cutting the edge off the other side. And then to make it finger food, going in threes, you can always slice down the middle as well. I always cut my apples around the core so they don't have to mess with seeds. I 
Now it's time to assemble. The key to a really pretty board is by grouping together all of your same ingredients. So I definitely pulled inspo from one of my favorite female founded board. I, I think it's called Food Board Companies. I trolled their Instagram feed and I was like, I need to make all of my food boards look like that because they're just so beautiful. Lady and Larder is what it's called and two sisters started this company and it's just the cutest. It can get very liquidy when you take the veggies out. So if you get a clean dish towel, it will absorb all of that excess water that you don't want on your tray. Big, juicy strawberries. I think the idea is to make it kind of look like a little bit of like a wild garden. Certain things do overlap. You don't want it to be too perfect. My dear friend and nutritionist introduced me to, once again, it's a great brand. My kids are obsessed and they have all kinds of amazing non-GMO butters. This sunflower butter is a favorite in the house. It just is like a different yummy nutty vibe than like your typical almond or peanut butter. You can really use any kind of butter, seed butter, nut butter that you want. This is just a nice little accoutrement to go with the apples and the celery. Okay, so our fruit and veggie board is done. Next, meat and cheese plate. All of these items complement the meats and cheeses we're using on the board. Apricot spread, fig spread, blackberry jam, olives, cornichon, everyone in the fam loves these, Parisian old school mustard, and dark chocolate. Marcona almonds, candied walnuts, praline pecans, our dried fruit, apricot, dried cranberries, herbs, it could be sage, rosemary, thyme, fresh figs, and fresh seasonal fruit. Now in order to get an elevated board, it's always nice to mix and match different types of jars that you might have laying around or bowls. Some of them are from old jam and jelly and honey jars. Wash them really well, take off the stickers, and you have the most adorable, rustic looking kind of farmhouse vibe. All right, so as you can see, I have my gloves on. I just feel like with meat, it's a little bit more oily. I like to use gloves, you know, because I don't want my fingers to smell like salami. This is a variety of cured meats and deli meat you can get from the farmer's market or your grocery store in the deli section. Brizola, so that's a beef cured meat, a variety of different types of salamis. And then this is this nice ham deli meat. And then we have a prosciutto, which is just a fan favorite. Cheese time. We have a nice variety of cheeses. My family is not the most sophisticated when it comes to cheese, so we don't like the real funky, stinky kind. We keep it pretty neutral. So I think the most exotic thing you have here is probably the smoked Gouda. I guess the other sort of stronger cheese is this sharp cheddar. But the rest, like I said, are just pretty mild. Manchego, brie, pecorino, cheddar, fontina. Just go to town and know that the more variety, the better. All right, let's build this baby. Well, first I'm gonna do my cheese board. Cheeses and cured meats do have a little bit of a shelf life, so that's nice. Just cut what you need for the day and then this could last you a little bit. This is the apricot spread, the fig spread, the blackberry spread. And I'm just gonna break the chocolates. Cranberries. It sort of reminds me of putting together a flower arrangement where it's really up to interpretation. It's like the balance between it looking organic and kind of messy and undone, but still being really beautiful. Candy. Walnuts. So these are the candied pecans. And last but certainly not least, the almonds. They're roasted and salted, and I'm like, yes, bring it. I'm gonna take some of my blackberries just to add that little nice unexpected vibe. So it's nice to get a little surprise of fruit. I'm gonna pop in a couple of raspberries and just place it where I have the dried fruit just to add that little cute color. 
And then you can always add a little sprig. These are actually really nice housewarming gifts as well. You know, if you don't want to bring over a bottle of wine or if you want to add to a bottle of wine, just make sure you're not using anything that you don't want to give someone because they'll keep it. All right, so this is our cheese board with our spreads, fresh fruit, dried fruit, nuts, yum, with fresh herb decor and some nice dark chocolates. And my favorite part, just really love doing this. Now we're gonna build a meat board. With the meat, the rule of thumb I like to live by is to kind of build these little like mounds, sort of like flowers, and then you just lay them out really pretty. A little pepper salami, bring it on. I can live off of meat and cheese plates. I just love snacking. I wish my whole diet was snacking. Nachos, tacos, all those things. So you can wrap the prosciutto in mozzarella, you can wrap it in cantaloupe and honeydew melon and breadsticks. Next, I'm gonna use the breadsticks for this fancy ham that I picked up from the grocery. Okay, so I'm taking the figs and I'm putting them in quarters and I'm gonna take the rest of the prosciutto and wrap it in the fig. Next, I'm gonna add the mustard. Now I have my greeny mustard and all of my cured meats on the platter. Time to make it pretty. I'm gonna start with Marcona almonds. All right, I'm just putting on gloves because I'm gonna get into some of the wet stuff. Figs go nice with savory, so even if a little bit of the cornichon juice gets on it, it's not the end of the world. And same with pickle juice. Now I'm gonna do some blueberries and some raspberries. Next up is our dried apricots and some grapes. Now my herbs have some thyme here. You could also add edible flowers. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. All right, so here are all of our crackers and this is the last piece of the puzzle. Cracker board done. Now let's see it all together. And like that, it's done. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what other kinds of videos you would like me to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Wait. Peace. Hearts. Okay, bye.